hey guys so this video is just gonna be me showing you the days that are not great pretty much um it is a friday it's currently june 12th um it is 9 48 as i'm recording i have all my lights off because i'm actually getting ready to start getting into my bible and stuff like that but um i wanted to make this video so you guys can see what it's like sometimes for me because i do get overwhelmed i still deal with um keeping my mind on track on the lord and i never want it to seem like i'm perfect or like i have it together because i don't um so today has just been a very rough day mentally and emotionally for me and i don't i i don't want to say i don't know where it came from but i also don't know where it came from like i know where it came from but i'm also like confused on why all of a sudden it's not happening if that makes sense it's like you know but you don't know those of you who understand know what i'm saying great right. but um yeah i started feeling about wednesday i really just felt like i wasn't myself um and sorry if you guys hear noise my brother is i think watching a service right now online in the front of the house but he has it loud through the speaker so yeah but um i just wasn't feeling myself on wednesday now mind you the weekend that just passed um some things occurred that should not have occurred um let's just say i had a moment of weakness in all honesty i had a moment of weakness and um indulged basically i'm not going to get into details if you get what i'm saying then you understand but i'm not going to get into details um but yeah so that that's part of it number one that's part of it me indulging was part of it um but also because i realized that i haven't been a hundred percent and i've been saying this for months um or weeks rather that I, I wanted to take this month to realign and even though i said that i wanted to do that um i haven't been doing what i said i wanted to do i've been sticking to my devotionals but not the way i want to do my devotionals like i'm supposed to get up at 5 17 in the morning every morning I, I haven't been doing it i've been turning like i literally will wake up turn off all my alarms get back in the bed and go to sleep until 9 a.m 10 a.m um and then get up and then by the time I want to do it, I can't because my son has work to do for school. So then I push it back to like 12, 1 o'clock. And if I don't feel like doing it, then I just don't do it until like 11, 59 at night. Which then goes into me having to get ready for bed for the next day, which then pushes everything back. So it's just been a lot of um, craziness. And I guess I'm also, oh, oh, I don't want to say overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed, but it's just, it's a lot going on. And um my son was supposed to go to his dad's earlier because normally he leaves at 12 but i really didn't know anything about what time his dad was going to pick him up so that alone put me in my personal feelings so i was already in my feelings dealing with whatever i was dealing with mentally and emotionally and then not knowing what time he was going to leave until his dad decided to let me know kind of put a damper on things even more because there were some things that i wanted to try and do like i wanted to try to make videos but i can't do that when my son is here so that kind of also added to um, me feeling down. It just frustrated me um, to the point where I was going to have a, a meltdown in front of my son. And I don't, I don't, I believe you should cry in front of your children. Okay, let me just say that. I definitely believe it's okay for your children to see you cry. But I don't believe you should have a meltdown or a breakdown in front of your kids. So when I feel it coming on, I try to keep my mind on God. I try to keep my spirits high because i don't want to break down in front of my son that's not something i want to do i've done it i think once or twice um and though my son will comfort me i just i don't want him to see me break down um and my breakdowns are not like over the top okay um but you know it was just like things are piling on and piling on and piling on and piling on and then like i said i indulged myself so then the weight of that is piling on on top of all of the things that I'm doing, ministry-wise, both for church ministry, personal ministry, DOI ministry, that's piled up on top. And then I got something in the mail from the bank today, um, and it kind of like threw me for a loop. And if you guys don't know, I don't work, 
um, many of you guys think I work I haven't been working since 2012 and it's not for lack of trying I've tried I've been to interviews I've been on first second first interview second interviews just never got a call back and I know what it is that the Lord wants me to work full-time ministry but um, I honestly don't want to um, and that's a whole other thing there on top of all of that but um, yeah when I got that thing in the bank um, and then my son had called me as well it just was like I, I was I was done so I had to close my eyes while he was on the phone because we were video chatting and I didn't want to see I didn't want him to see me cry um, so I had to keep my eyes closed and then my mom came and I guess she felt that there was like a heaviness on me so she had told my son to hang up the phone and I just broke down um, I didn't let it all out <laughs> I, I didn't um, I probably still need to cry but um, it's a lot it's a lot mentally going on um, and it's gotten to the point where I'm not reading like I and I know things are left when I don't read the way I usually read because I think the last month that I read a good amount of books was February um, March not so much April not so much May I had plans to do a lot of reading not so much I'm reading a book that I think I started in May yeah, it's taken me like a month and a half, two months to read this book now. Now, you guys know I read pretty fast. I read a, I read a book um, in three to four days. And I'm typically reading anywhere from three to four or maybe five books a day. Right? So, for me to not be reading anything. And I mean, that cart there has all of the books that I was supposed to plan to read. But I'm, I haven't been, in, been reading them. Um, I did pick up a book I am reading this right now with Steph um, it's returned to me by Lynn Austin it's the first book in the Restoration Chronicles this book is so good um, and it had me in my feelings in a good way um, I'm enjoying it I haven't put my tabs in but I am like annotating and marking up in the book um, it's really good we're probably gonna read the second and third book back to back because it's so good um, but like it's, it's just a lot going on um and then i find that the enemy is trying to get back into my brain about certain things and make me feel less than um make me feel unworthy and i had to the holy spirit excuse me had to snap me out of it for a second um and i had to read through ephesians 1 and 2 i just read through it but i'm actually going to do some journaling and a few through ephesians 1 and 2 um just taking note of everything that it says i am as a daughter of the king um you know even though i'm free from bondage of course and i know who my savior is there are those moments i have where i feel less than there are those moments where i feel like i'm not doing the best job or i'm not doing the greatest job as a mom or a sister or anything like that um and it more so affects me especially when it concerns my relationship with my son's father um, just because there's so much to it and um, I'm literally at a point where I'm empty um, and not like the good empty but like the empty devoid of anything like I, I don't know I don't know I'm back at the I don't know stage and anytime I'm at that stage I need to um, just recenter myself so I'm glad it's, it's my weekend for the Sabbath. And um, somebody asked me about the Sabbath. Uh, <laughs> Sabbath was meant for the people. So I personally do my Sabbath on Saturday, all day Saturday. Um, I don't do any ministry work. I don't do any church work. I don't do any um, work. Now, making videos, I don't consider it work because it's fun for me. Now, if it's like a brand deal or anything like that, and I'm saying brand deal, but more so like a publishing company or something like that, then that's considered work. I will not record that on a Saturday anymore because that's work. But making a video like this or any of like my sit down calm videos, that's not work. When I have my um, backdrop, that's work. Okay, so that's why a lot of the times you see my videos without the backdrop now because um, I'm recording them on on. on friday night or my sabbath okay um i don't know
you know um i've been saying i'm rooted in christ of course I'm, I'm definitely rooted in the word of god but even when you're rooted you you still have those moments of like what do i do what do i say what am i thinking what's going on like you have those moments and i know it's just a trick of the enemy but at the same time even though i know it's a trick of the enemy it's still hard it is hard um and i don't care what nobody say i don't care how seasoned you are how mature in the spirit you are no it's hard when you're going through emotionally and mentally and it's not that you don't trust god but we're still human we have feelings we have emotions and that's pretty much what i'm dealing with so um i did receive my um order for my birthday i ordered myself a bible study you guys know that i work with moody publishers um and i have a lot of like their women's bible studies i think i'm missing like two three i'm missing three two of the um adult bible studies called seven feast and there's another one called keeping the faith which is a study of jude um and then i just found out that they had like a teen slash mom bible study and one by donna gresh she was the co-author of um lies young women believe so there's like bible study on i think it's habakkuk 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 however you pronounce it um so i just found out about that because i received an email so i only have three more bible studies to get but um this was a study that i definitely wanted to get because um i love this author to pieces one of my favorite biblical fiction authors um so i said you know what for my birthday i'm gonna order it for myself like i literally ordered this for myself okay um it came out the day before my birthday so i knew it was like a god thing um but it is the way home by miss tessa abshar this is a study of ruth it's god's invitation to new beginnings a six-week bible study on ruth and um i got the 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 set so it comes with the dvd as well as the bible study booklet it's still in the packaging as you can see but um i i wanted to get this for myself and it's supposed to come a couple days ago it just came today mind you it was supposed to come i think two days ago tracking then said today when i checked no yesterday when i checked it it said the 13th but it came today um so i have this i'm thinking about starting this um i did read the e-arc of it but there's something especially when it comes to bible studies i just prefer physical copies of a bible study so i have this um but i'm just like i don't know what to do i don't know i've been putting um there's two songs by oh my god it's called tribal t-r-b-l here on youtube i don't know if that's like just the, the channel name the group name because it works with maverick something don't know but i'm gonna leave uh, i you can click on um the first song is um it's with brie brie b is what i call her i'm i'm literally running a blank you guys my brain is just yeah um just click on it click the on the screen to go to that video um it's a music video of a song and um it's called holy ghost that's what it's called it's called holy ghost um i've been playing that song on repeat on top of my embassy worship of course um but i've been putting that on repeat and there's another one that they have on their channel called um promises i think it's called I think it's called Promises. It's like a 10 minute song, but it's so beautiful. Um, and I've been playing that nonstop. So I'll leave the, the link so you can click the I. But um, as you guys can like see, this is me mentally just, I'm, yeah, my room is a mess. Um, I have clothes that I had got for my birthday that my son's father had got me. Um, well, I ordered it, he paid for it, but um, I was supposed to put those up two days ago. I haven't put them up. They're on the bed right now. I have stuff behind me. Um, I need to put this stuff up. Over just everything is a mess. Um, looking at these bookshelves like make me angry <laughs> because there's so many books. But I, I've been through my bookshelves. I've gotten rid of books that I don't want. So these literally are like books that I want to keep. Um, but it's just like looking at them frustrates me so much um and if i could i would put them in boxes and put them away but we're out of storage space in my house so you know and um just so much uncertainty about my future as well like if you guys don't know i just turned 29 a week ago um and it's a lot you know i'm 29 
I live at home with my mother and my siblings. Um, I have a six year old son. I, it's a lot. Um, and it, it really didn't bother me as much the week of my birthday, but now I guess with everything and me and my emotions and feelings, it's starting to like, again, pile up. So I have like this huge pile on top of me and I don't know what to do. So. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to take the rest of this evening to just soak in the word, um, play some worship music, and just remind myself of my worth and who I am as a daughter of the king, as well as who my father is, um, being Abba, God, of course, as well as my savior. Um, this is just real raw, like, I'm not going to show you me crying on camera, that, <laughs> I don't want to do that. But um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more tears between tonight and tomorrow. Me crying just because I, I haven't really cried. And I'm, I'm like, there's so much, so much. Um, and, you know, I'm a homebody. This quarantine, this self-isolation, whatever you call it, it doesn't bother me because I'm a homebody. But with everyone else being home, when I'm so used to them being out, it's a lot, especially with a six-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, don't, I have a playlist right now on my watch later, my watch later play, playlist, I have a bunch of videos of, um, people sharing their Bible study routines, their devotion routines, their favorite tools and stuff that I'm just going to, um, watch through as I get my devotional in for the day because I, I haven't done my devotional, um, I'm being real, I'm being honest. Last time I did my devotional was Tuesday on the 9th, it is now the 12th. So, I haven't done it so far for about two and a half days. So, I need to catch up on that. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I had a to-do list here. I've only done two of those on my to-do list. I'm, I don't, I'm not even making any videos today. I just, I can't. I mean, tomorrow, I'm not, I don't think I can. Mentally, I don't think that I can um, get on camera and pretend to be happy-go-lucky. I just can't do it. And when I, st when I feel like it's work, I'm not going to do it. Um, because it's the Sabbath. So, there's a lot. There is a lot. Um, let me open this up. I'm excited for this Bible study. Like, I'm excited. This actually goes with her other... Let me grab her book because I have all of her books here in front of me. Like, we know Miss Tessa Abshore is my number one favorite biblical fiction author. Is there something in front of this? There is. I don't want it to fall. Hold on. Some of these okay, so this hair is based off of the book that she wrote in the fields of grace about Ruth, Naomi, and Boaz. I've read this, um, I read the ebook version of it, so this one is not marked up, of course, but I did give it a five stars, I did enjoy it, so I'm excited to actually dive into this, um, again and do the study and have the DVD. Um, you know and maybe this will help me as well because you know Tessa Afshar always speaks to my heart <laughs> through her books so um her bible study what I did get a chance to read was excellent 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 and I do enjoy Moody Bible um Moody Publisher excuse me their women's bible studies um and again most of them I do get for free because I work with them um as a reviewer a blogger but I've only, I've paid, I think, for three of their Bible studies now um, on my own because I really wanted them. And most of them you can find on, um, well, are they two discs in here? Or is it one? I don't know. Let's see. And then my nails are starting to chip as well, the polish. You guys can see that. So I'm going to have to take it off soon, but let me open this. I don't know if this is like one one CD or two. Um, I mean, it's Miss Tessa Afshar, so we know how I feel about her. <laughs> we love her. Um, her writing like is excellent. I always recommend her to other people because she's one of the authors who will take actual biblical accounts and craft a fiction story around it. And she always sticks closely to scripture while still giving you that 
fictional aspect, which I thoroughly enjoy. Um, but okay, is it one DVD or two? I think it's one, probably. Oh no, there are two. This one was not in correctly, but that's okay. They're so cute. Y'all know I'm extra, okay? So um, here is what the case looks like. You you'll see this again when I do like a haul. I'm probably gonna do like a May and June book haul because I'm, I don't think I'm gonna record, record a haul. But um, yes, looks like this. And when you open it, you get two discs. So nice. So the first one has three sessions. The second one has the last three sections. Sessions, um, and they all range between 15 to 22 minutes long. Um, so we have that, and then the Bible study is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And all in the back there are recipes. Is it in here or is it in the DVD? There are recipes included. Yeah, so these are all the Bible studies from Moody Publisher, the woman's studies. Um, I own all of them, except for these two up here. Seven Feasts and Keeping the Faith are the two that I said I still need to get, as well as the Mother Teen Bible Study on Habakkuk. Um, I need to get that. But, um... I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to dive into this. And we know that I love the story of Ruth. I love Ruth. So maybe I just need to restudy Ruth all over again. Um, and someone asked me before um, why I restudy books that I've already read. And the reason is because a lot of the times um, when I restudy them, I get a new perspective, a new understanding. Scripture is alive. It's living. It's breathing. Um, and what I read a year ago on Ruth is not the same about of what I read the previous year of Ruth and because my understanding of the word of God continues to grow I like to restudy um, books that I've already studied that's probably redundant um, it's probably retarded to most people but I enjoy it because I get so much more on it's like every time I restudy a book like Ruth Esther and Jonah um, or even John I've studied John maybe four times not three four times um, and every time I restudy it I'm getting more information new and in, new insights um new perspective on things so that's that but yeah i'm going to be tackling this i might do this probably not this month this might be my like july summer thing read this book and do the study that might be a thing um but yeah this is real rawness right now you guys i just I, i'm rambling because i don't know i don't and i don't even know if this video will go up I probably will put it up because I, I want you guys to see like it's not always peaches and greens it's not always me happy like this is a moment where I'm literally depleted pretty much um, and I'm in a a weird spot mentally um, and yes you know like I said obviously this is the time that you soak and sit in God's presence but it's not easy to do that, um, especially when you have so much on, like there's so much on you. It's not easy. Um, and you guys know I love the word. I love studying the word. Y'all know we love to like dive deep into the word of God. But I'm having one of those, those moments and I don't know what to do. It is frustrating, which just adds to the top of the pile. <laughs> pretty much like I haven't really been watching anime and I love anime so I know when I start to pull away from reading or watching anime then there's a problem like we know there's a problem um those are like the first noticeable signs that I know something's going on with me mentally and spiritually um and it might sound weird to you guys that I'm saying that but I know because I have a, a, a serious love of reading um biblical fiction christian fiction fantasy romance whatever um if it wasn't for this book here return to me if it wasn't so good and if steph wasn't hyping me up with her tech because even with our buddy reads recently i have been lack like i've been slacking off and i'm normally like ahead of stephanie with the reading she's ahead of me by days now literally so we're supposed to finish this book today i stayed up last night to read this much of the book I'm going to show you guys how much I read last night. No, we read that.
I read this much of the book with her yesterday. This much, right? I still have this much left. We're supposed to finish this, so I'm probably not gonna finish it tonight just because. Um, and she she already texted me. It was like this chapter, you're gonna be crying. Like, so I know it's I'm, it's something off because I'm not reading like I normally would. And it's not about me reading fast. I just naturally read fast. Like I listen to audiobooks on three times speed. I read faster than that. So yeah. Um, but if it wasn't for Return to Me, I probably would have been still wallowing in this like feeling. Um, and what got me was specifically there was a line. I'm going to try to find it. Yeah. Um, oh, right here. So this basically talks about um, the story of Zechariah. I think it's Zechariah, right? Yeah, the story, the, the story of Zechariah when King Cyrus allowed um, the Jews to go back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple, all of that. So it takes place around that time. Um, really good read, by the way. But um, Zechariah is with his grandfather, um, and Zechariah is questioning. Because Zechariah, I believe, is like 12 in the book. 12, he's between 12 and 16 at this point in the book um and he's questioning a lot of things you know he he's he's felt the presence of god he's had a relationship with god but he's questioning a lot because you know people are dying people are being killed there, there's a lot going on um and he said how long will we have to wait um this is zachariah speaking to his grandfather um and that clicked for me because concerning a lot of things in my life i know that i received the word from god um from more than one person so i know that it's going to come to pass but also at the same time i'm just like how long do i have to wait for this or for this or like i know it's going to happen because god's word is it can't be returned back void ever okay um what he says is always going to be true but when and i guess that's another thing because i'm 29 now and it's like i've been 29 for a week and it's starting to settle in like okay when is this stuff going to take place when is this going to happen and when is this going like it, it's it's starting to get to me and um zachariah's grandfather responded and said how long i suppose it depends on how long it takes us to learn the lessons of faith to which zachariah said it's not fair so then the grandfather said life is seldom fair but we can use this time to nurture our faith or to nurture doubt that's what these times of testing are all about and it really like i texted stephanie was like I, I i can't read no more i'm done like i literally said okay this hit me i can't read anymore i'm done because I, I was gonna stay up to read the book with her but after reading that and because it really like jostled my spirit um i, I couldn't i had to literally put this up because i started to cry um just because there's so much and i'm just like when why how long you know um and let me just say, it's never wrong to ask why or when. You can question God. Okay, but in questioning God, you also need to understand there's a way to question God. You don't question God like you have all authority and power because you don't. Um, but you do it understanding who you are in comparison to God. Understanding who you are, okay? Um, I'm not asking him, you know, how long was an attitude do i get bothered sometimes yes especially with certain things it's like okay lord how long do i have to wait for this and you know i'm seeing my prayers be answered um slowly you know what i want in my time is not the timing that god has and it can get frustrating it be it can become overwhelming and i guess i've just shut it off for so long i'm just like whatever okay i'll deal with it because I, I see the fruits of my prayers um and what god has told me but at the same time again in the flesh i'm just like all right i can't do this anymore um it's it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot you know having that little breakdown my mom was in here just you know supporting me and helping me um and i truly appreciate her with that my mom is definitely the type of mother um if she sees you overwhelmed and sees that you're about to break down she will make sure that you get it out because i i've cried so much over the years that i don't like to cry pretty much um and i try to keep my tears in you know i try to i, I <laughs> it's funny to say it out loud but i do like the the, the dry heaving cries because i don't want my tears to fall but i also know that when you 
allow those tears to fall that God is bottling them up so she was just basically you know rubbing my back and telling me let it out and um I wanted to let it all I did but I didn't let it all out um and I, I guess these are the moments when I miss church as well because the church that I go to we're called flight to freedom worship center um so not only do you feel free but you're free to worship any way that you choose however you choose how long you choose um and i mean my church we be on a high <laughs> we be on a high with the worship and i miss that because there's something about you congregating with other believers those who can support you spiritually um that will help you to also release i don't know I don't know if what I'm saying is even making sense um, at all. It's 1019, so yeah, my hair looks crazy. You probably can't see it because all the lights in my room are off. Um, let me see if I can show you. Guys. I was not that bad, but like it's sticking out. My hair has been falling out really bad, like really bad. That's another thing. My hair is falling out. Like every day I comb my hair, um, it's falling out. You guys can see this bald spot coming in. Um, it's bad. I, I, and you guys know I've been saying my hair's been falling out for months. My hair never falls out, okay? I've never had a situation with my Even when I had my son, my hair never fell out, okay? So I know that it's stress that's adding to it falling out, you know? And of course, me not taking care of my scalp is a whole other thing. But, um, yeah. Oh. But, yeah. It's like I'm looking at these clothes. I need to put them up. I don't. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna take a shower, change my pajamas, put something cute on. I just got these cute pajamas um, from Forever 21. I literally just went on Forever 21 to go shopping. I actually ordered two pairs of pajama sets, but for the lavender one, which is a cute lavender, they only sent the shorts and not the top. So I have to send three of my pieces back, which are over there. I have to send a pair of lavender pants gorgeous pants but they're too boxy i have to send those back the lavender shorts i have to send back and then i ordered a shirt but they sent the wrong item they sent a pair of pants sorry if you guys hear my brother so yeah um it's just these they're long pajama pants polka dot they're really simple um but they're super super long but that's okay because i'm in the house um with this cute little top now the top is a little short just just a little bit um again sorry if you guys hear my brother but um this is the top it's really cute um but because i'm i think the pants are supposed to be high waisted it's okay i don't know but i'm probably just gonna take a shower first um and then dive in because i'm just i'm i'm, I'm overwhelmed maybe the hot bath will help me and then i'll have like a nice hot cup of i'm debating if i want a coffee a latte a cappuccino or a hot chocolate or maybe some tea. I haven't had tea in a minute. Don't know. Um, I'm drinking some cranberry, white cran strawberry juice right now. It's really delicious. I hate cranberry juice, but I love pink cranberry juice. And I like this white strawberry cran juice. So weird. Um, but yeah, so I have my computer set. I'm not going to show you guys. Like I said, my room is a mess. Um, I need to clean everything up. Um, so if you guys see me posting on and off, just know i'm okay <laughs> i'm human i deal with things um you know i'm not the best with expressing myself i'm an introvert i, I like to stay within myself you guys know this if you've seen my um testimony videos those will actually be resuming in um july so hopefully july those will be resuming um i'm i have okay so i have three videos that i've been wanting to do one video has been a struggle to do because it still makes me emotional so i'm trying to get uh my bearings on that topic um one the other video i'm quite nervous to make because i don't like being judged um especially when it comes to that specific area and topic of my life um not many people know about that area of my life um so it'll literally be like the first time anyone outside of like my mom and my brother who knows okay so of that um and i definitely want to do a third one um but yeah 
So I just want anyone who know, anyone out there who's dealing with um, any type of just feeling empty or feeling less than, feeling unworthy, um, that one, it's okay to feel that way. You're human. You know, we're going to go through different feelings and emotions, especially in this time dealing with the craziness in the world with um, the Black Lives Matter movement, racism, COVID. It's, it's a lot, okay? Um, especially if you're like on the go. I'm not an on the go person. I'm pretty much introverted. I'm a homebody, but um, it, it, it can be a lot. So it's okay to feel those things. But also you need to remember who you are as a daughter or a son of the king, as well as who your father is um, at the end of the day. I will leave some scriptures down below um, for you guys, because these are actually scriptures I'm going to be reading up on and I'm actually gonna start a journal and a few, I have thousands of journals, I'm gonna just pick a random journal and um, just start journaling through one of them. Um, and I'm gonna journal through my feelings, my thoughts. And um, that journal will be specifically for when I'm feeling this type of unworthiness, when I'm feeling less than, I can directly go to this journal, flip through it, read whatever I wrote and look at the scriptures that I wrote down. Um, so again, some of the scriptures I'm using will be down below. I'm still gonna be going through my Bible I'm looking for more scriptures, but um, right now, those that are listed in the description are the ones that you guys can read. Definitely, I would highly recommend um, Ephesians 1 and 2. If you have seen the movie Overcoming, you know there's a part where Priscilla Shire tells the young girl to read through Ephesians 1 and write down everything that um, it says that she is as a child of God. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I think Ephesians 1 through 3 or 1 through 4 really speaks about who we are. But I focus more so on Ephesians 1 and 2. Um, you can obviously read through all of Ephesians. Yes, 1 through 3 and I think 4 through 6 talks about spiritual warfare, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah. So I'm probably going to watch War Room. When I feel like this, also, watching War Room helps me. Um, I feel like War Room is overrated at this point because it's like, everybody's seen it. But it's still one of my favorites. I don't consistently watch it, but when I'm, it's, it's times like when I feel like this um that i think is essential for me to watch it or any of my um faith movies so i am playing it's 10 26 right now i'm gonna go take a shower that's the first thing i want to do all those clothes in my bed i'm just gonna throw over here and i'll sort through them tomorrow because i'm just not doing it right now i i can't i don't feel like it um and you know what it's okay to not feel like it so yeah I have a box of tissues. Um, <laughs> I broke the box too when it fell. So, yeah, we're going to keep the tissue near me because I'm going to need it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to make this video. Again, it's not the happy go lucky normal videos that I make, but I also want you guys to understand that I'm human. I deal with things as well. Um, and it's okay just as long as you get yourself out of it snap up out of it okay <laughs> it can be hard so i'm hoping that this is encouragement for someone else um if you have any questions anything you want to specifically know or need help with you can just leave them down below or you can email me at daughterupincrease at gmail.com i'm always available i've been slacking with commenting back on um youtube comments i'm trying to get back into that so i think i have to probably pick a day where i'm just going through all the comments and responding back um, some of them I can catch immediately and will respond to on my phone, but I'm probably gonna have to do it on my computer to get through because I like talking with you guys. But, um, I think that's it for now. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, when I'm out of this little slump, I guess I'll call it, um, I'll let you guys know exactly what I did to get out of it outside of those scriptures that are down below. I'll let you guys know fully in detail, like how I got out of it and things like that. Um, and again, I'm gonna repeat this before I get off. I'm human, okay? I don't need anybody to come on and <laughs> tell me, oh, you're an evangelist, so you shouldn't feel that way. Mm -mm. Them some lies. Them some lies, okay? It don't matter what your title is in the kingdom, you're human. You're going to feel things, period, okay? Period, point blank. The only difference is, as an evangelist, I know and understand that I don't have to stay in that slump i can get myself out of it by doing things by let me let me rephrase that because i don't want it to sound like i i not by doing things but by saturating myself with the lord by keeping the lord on the forefront of my mind 
hopefully that makes sense okay so i just want to say that because i I've, I've noticed for the past couple weeks maybe a month i've had some people come on my channel mainly men <laughs> come to my channel with their rude comments and um i find it hilarious and also ridiculous at the same time so i just want to say that right now just because i'm an evangelist ordained does not mean that i'm not going to have my emotions and my feelings i'm human at the end of the day before the title i am human period okay so yes i'm going through it's okay to go through i'm not gonna stay in this slump though i'm going to get myself out of it asap okay so just saying that all right <laughs> so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go take a shower um prepare me something hot to drink and um get back to my table and just immerse myself in the word so yeah that is it i'll see you guys in the next video bye hey guys so i was gonna just end the vlog where i left it at but i wanted to come back on um let's see it right now i'm playing animal crossing with my oh uh, he's leaving i was playing with my son we was playing for about two two and a half three hours um but he's leaving my island now it's so sad <laughs> So, um, he left my island. That's okay. That means I can go back to terraforming my island. Um, that's what you're hearing. I have it connected to the speaker because compared to the Switch, the Switch Lite is a lot more portable, a lot more easier to deal with, but it is also, like, the volume is really, really low. So, that kind of, like, sucks, but... Yeah, he came on my island for about two and a half hours. Two, two and a half hours, probably less than that. Um, sorry. You yeah, unclose it. So he came to my island um, and we played a little bit. Um, so I just want to talk about what my day has been like so far. Because you guys know I told you. I had a bit of a breakdown yesterday. Um, just because there's so much going on. And um, I'm taking on more than I think I should. Mentally and emotionally and physically. Um, and it just got to me. So today what I did was, um, obviously I took my shower last night. I said I was going to put these cute PJs on. I'm telling you they're cute. My mom liked them as well. When she sold them, she was like, oh, I wanted a pair. But this was one of the, um, pieces that I had bought for myself, um, when my son's father gave me money for my birthday to go clothes shopping. That was 21. Yeah. Um, I took those clothes back this morning, those three pieces, um, one piece were a lavender was a lavender pajama set didn't have the shirt so i sent it back along with some lavender pants i bought but they didn't fit because they were too boxy and then they sent me another pair of pants but they must they, it was a mistake they were supposed to send me a shirt they sent me a pair of pants instead so they are going to refund me that money back so um that money i'm just going to throw in the bank um so i have that coming hopefully sometime this week because it shipped out i got the tracking number and information so i can keep track of that so they can send me my money back uh, well, I mean, it's his money, but it's my money <laughs> because it was for birthday clothes. So I might pick up some pieces from like a regular clothing store if it's open, but or I might just throw it in the bank. Um, so I did that this morning. I'm currently sipping on some coffee right now um, in my little bunny mug. I got this mug from Target. I haven't been to Target in forever, you guys. Forever. Um, forever. <laughs> I, I, I think it's been years since I've been to a Target and I probably should go to Target again. Um, not now, of course. COVID and all that but um yeah have some coffee it's a mix of like a lot of things so i have vanilla the vanilla bean latte from frozen bean in here two scoops of that to use as a creamer with some bustello coffee bustello's cuban coffee um so I have cuban coffee with vanilla bean latte powder as a creamer in here mixed with lavender syrup of course two scoops of sugar as well as some sweet cream creamer and it is so creamy and delicious and relaxing because of the lavender and the smell It is everything but um yeah my son left my island so i'm gonna put this to the side for a second and um i'm going to plan out my next week in my faith planner as well as my actual planner i don't even think <laughs> yeah my june is fine but i don't even think like this was my birthday week but I, I never really filled it out so i have to remember everything and then i didn't plan for this week that we're in so i'm gonna plan for the next week um and i'm probably going to 
get into lesson two of this which i was supposed to do last sunday but i just didn't do it because i wasn't home um so i'm probably gonna get into lesson two tonight um that way this coming week i can focus because i am supposed to be teaching sunday school um this sunday no not this sunday next Sunday i'm supposed to be teaching sunday school so um i want to go live but if i can't go live i'm gonna have to record a pre-recorded video so i want to obviously make sure that i'm um getting my study in of it um before i do that but i'm also studying the previous two lessons because i want to know what you know everything's about like you you guys saw the video i did um click the eye where i went through lesson one with you oh you saw me rather studying it but um yeah i just wanted to keep you guys up to date to, to tell you guys what i've been doing today so i obviously took my shower got on these cute pjs love them so cute um and then i cleaned up my room so yes all the clothes that were over there put them up um i got rid of three pairs of leggings um i'm thinking about keeping those leggings just for workout purposes i don't know yet but i'm gonna three get, got rid of three pair of those can you see all right so y'all got you see this towel there is a stack of clothes where this black thing is um so i have a tube dress that i'm getting rid of um i okay if you guys don't know i'm real petite um <laughs> real tiny i'm 411 okay 411 and i'm about 100 110 pounds somewhere between 100 and 110 i don't know where exactly because my weight fluctuates but i'm real tiny okay real tiny um and i'm saying i'm real tiny but i used to be tinier than this i used to be like a double zero a double zero is like nothing i'm telling you the truth so like um used to be a double zero gained some weight when i had my son thank god for that um and now i can put on a little bit of weight but not as much as i want um i do have like a number in mind that i would like to reach um i think the most i've ever weighed was 115 ish 117 ish when i had my son um, I had gained like 20 something pounds luckily it all stayed <laughs> but um yeah so tube dresses I don't care for them because I ain't got nothing at the top this is TMI for my, my male followers I apologize but it'll explain I'm explaining what my date was like after a breakdown okay sorry but I don't like tube dresses because I ain't got nothing at the top period um <laughs> sorry TMI but um, it's a cute floral tube dress, but I only wore it once. I think I wore it once or twice, um, and I didn't feel comfortable in it. Um, and not that it was too big, it's just everything else is fine, but the top wasn't cute for me. It, mm -mm. Um, so I'm getting rid of that. There's a skirt that I've had for years, um, it needs to go. And it's nothing wrong with the skirt, I just, my style has changed up. So we have that, and then I have two dresses three actually three which are more of like your party dresses things i probably would have worn like in college to go party in um they're not over the top either um one dress was a gift but it's not my style it's really like sheer not my style um and then the other two still have tags like those three dresses still have tags on them but the other two i have never worn um i bought them i'm gonna i don't know if i want to keep them for just in case like date nights and things like that with my son's father i'm gonna get that out now so i just have like i'm gonna say six seven pieces here to get rid of everything else i got i fixed um i fixed my closet up i took my sweaters out and my hoodies so my sweaters and hoodies that's what you guys see here the gray the lavender and the mint are all hoodies and sweaters um this shark comforter set i got from walmart when i got this one um and it's a unicorn one for my no it's not a unicorn it's um a fox one for myself so they're basically like children's sets but i got one for me and my son because i was like oh you know i like blankets okay and i'm always looking for lavender so um i just put those there on top of the hoodies um i fixed up my drawers i took my bottoms so my pants and my skirts i put into my two drawers and then i move all of my shirts into the tub so we have that i organized my son's stuff um literally was just in here cleaning and organizing and as i was cleaning organizing i was listening to music so i listened again to those songs that i mentioned yesterday um holy ghost by brie and i think it's maverick city music i think that's the name of the group the right name is on the screen if i'm wrong um i listened to holy ghost by them i also listened to uh promises and man of your word those three songs i've had on repeat all day as well as nbc nbc worship i've been listening to crossover and possess the land um as well as it is so in living testimony 
um then i put on todd delaney's um the songs where he's singing the word literally singing the word of god so psalms 23 psalms 18 and proverbs 3 i'm gonna listen to those all day look this has been my music all day on repeat um there's another song i listen to it just broke i don't know who the who the um singer is but it's called it just broke i've been <laughs> that song had me in my pillows today and um honestly if it wasn't for um living testimony crossover and possess the lamb by um embassy worship i probably would still be in a funk those i said funk okay f-u-n-k because i had some people come on my channel and assume that i cursed i don't curse on my channel um i'm not gonna say i've never cursed yes i have cursed in the past that's the old me the new me trying to be you know trying to curb those words but i definitely do not curse on this channel at all i have not cursed on any of my channels um my other channels as well um mine is my book channel but that was like years ago and i'm cleaning up my book channel so we're working okay not perfect but i definitely do not curse on my channel um i just had to put that out there if you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> then you, if you know the situation i'm talking about then that's why i'm saying what i'm saying but um yeah they um helped me get out of my funk as i was putting up my clothes i was playing it i was in here dancing <sighs> almost called the holy ghost <laughs> seriously almost the, almost caught the holy ghost about three times I had to catch myself because um, i had my door closed and i was literally in this area like just praising having fun shouting you know like dancing and my praise almost got real and it you know i like to i like to be around other people when i'm praising because my praise if you guys have seen my ordination videos <laughs> um the ordination night video you know i got them high jumps I praise arm um, swinging so I didn't want to hurt myself so yeah um so that's pretty much it and then I played Animal Crescent earlier and then I played it again I spoke to my son's father we had a good conversation um but now I'm just about to do some planning and watching some videos but um I definitely wanted to come back on unless you guys know like I'm doing better oh I also read I read we finished return to me by lynn austin <laughs> this is the first book in the restoration chronicles <sighs> this book i think this book is really what like tipped the iceberg i said like it was on page 309 and 310 when ito said something crazy and I i'm gonna actually reread it again um basically he was saying how long i suppose it depends on how long it takes us to learn lessons of faith life is seldom fair but we can use this time to nurture our faith or to nurture doubt that's what these times of testing are all about that honestly is what like made me cry even more that was thursday night mind you thursday we read this um we was up talking and that hit me and i guess it opened up the floodgates <laughs> pretty much um and i finished this book this book is beautiful it's amazing i love the way lynn really utilize the prophet um zechariah as well as haggai i don't know if it's haggai or haggai don't know um but he's in this book as well and it is so good and there's quotes from like ezekiel and isaiah and oh my god this is a powerful book i recommend it i, I it's a five star it's a new favorite um me and sub definitely plan on re reading the next two books and i do own another book from lynn austin it is from her prophets and kings i think it's no it's not prophets and kings what is it called let me grab it no yeah i don't know let me grab it <laughs> So this is her restoration chronicles um and it follows prophets if i'm not mistaken um i don't know if it follows any other prophets but i know for a fact this one follows zechariah and um Hecky. and then she has gods and kings this is a longer series i think it's five books or six um i have the first book and this one follows king eight has as well as hezekiah and um oh zechariah is in here mm. so was this written after this series that's a good this is 2005 when did this come out i'm curious okay so this one is called chronicles of kings <laughs> so this series is chronicles of kings and it is five books um in the series i only have the first book for each series because i wasn't sure if i was going to enjoy it oh no so i guess 
this series came out first in 2005 and then this one came next in 2013 but both have Zachariah so I don't really know but I loved her writing enough to finish the series and I'm gonna go back and read the series um but yeah it it was mind-boggling and um it really helped me even more um I find that when I'm focusing and keeping focus and centered um on God and who he is it helps me um I also decided that I was trying to do too much with this month of realignment as far as like devotionals and all that I was trying to do like four five different devotionals it ain't gonna work so I'm sticking to Jesus calling for the rest of the month I might even use it for July as well um I'm using that right now and I'm sticking to one journal I was using two I'm using one guided journal and that is the becoming by Michelle Obama now I have started um and I dated a lot of these already because they were supposed to be done but um and I'm not like going page by page because there are some pages that I just don't even remember like this page here I skipped over and went to the next page so I'm just flipping through and whatever questions really get to me I'll answer so I'm sticking to that um I'm not gonna do the Our Daily Bread for some reason I I'm falling out of love with their devotionals and I don't know why I still like I have a box of Our Daily Bread devotionals from I don't even know how, how long ago but I don't know some of most most of the times I'm not enjoying the devotionals and it's honestly probably because I've gotten used to the in touch ministry devotional um that I'm really enjoying it so yeah but I also have like 30,000 devotionals as well so yeah that devotional video um the devotional collection video is coming I don't know when because I would have to take all those books off the shelf and I don't want to do that but <laughs> um you guys can definitely see I'm a little bit more chipper and, and up um still have some things in my thoughts some things I'm still thinking some things in mind or still battling um mentally but I'm okay um like I said all those songs I mentioned listed down below they have been helping me so much um and I know that I'll be fine I know that I'll be okay um but it's human to go through different ups and downs of your emotions and things like that especially since I try to keep a lot in and very much an introvert I don't like to talk to people I don't like to share my feelings um and it's very bad because that leaks into my actual relationship with my son's father <laughs> so um I need to work on that I need to work on that I need to work on that and um yeah it's just it's a lot but I'm doing a lot better than I was yesterday and yeah I'm probably going to pick up another Christian book right now I have two options two options so I have between picking this up I'm gonna move up a little, a little closer okay so I have between Bathsheba which is book two in the Dangerous Beauty series I read Esther and I read Delilah enjoyed both um but this one is on Bathsheba so I'm hoping this is a five star hopefully but I want to read these so that I can move into her next Angela Hunt's next series which is a four book series and then read the Apostle Paul and then read her newest book because I don't want to jump into her newest book and then give it a five star and then be like ah. I think that's what happened with me Sue Andrews is I read Isaiah's daughter first five star then read Daniel the story with Daniel five star and then I went back to read her other books um Love Amid the Ashes gave that four stars and then I read what is it what's the book she has oh my god i don't even see it oh my oh there it is the pharaoh's daughter four stars um but i can read that or i can do this one pick this one back up you guys know i mentioned how i dnf'd it um at chapter 12 um and it was good i was just reading too much romantic suspense so i'm debating if i want to pick this up or not um both i'll be listening to audiobooks as i read that's been my new thing listening to audiobooks to keep me focused on the reading but I'm doing a little bit better um so yeah i'm gonna continue with my music continue with my animal crossing um but while i am working on my planner i will i'm trying to debate if i want to listen to music or if i want to i'll probably watch youtube while i'm working on my planner and then i'll pick i'll probably put a poll up on instagram about which book to read 
and then that that's how that'll go but um yeah that's this is officially it for the video um i just wanted to show you guys exactly what the next day is like for me when i'm going through um those type of moments um and again i don't go through them often because i'm pretty good at maintaining my emotions but it just was a lot after reading that book um returned to me it really like crushed me so yeah so i'm gonna be done with this video um and if you have any comments questions concerns like i said previously just let me know um i have no problem talking about it if you want like a sit down video where i'm actually talking you through my process and things like that definitely can do that but this is literally just a lifestyle vlog of me showing you like a breakdown of what i do the next time <laughs> um so yeah i'm probably gonna have to heat my coffee back up yeah i'm gonna have to heat my coffee back up and i'm gonna play some more animal crossing i've like mind you i have like eight games <laughs> eight games and i've only been playing i have more than eight actually I have eight cartridges for like the game cards and then I have three games <laughs> downloaded <laughs> three or four yeah uh problems and I think I want Pokemon because I seen somebody playing the Pokemon game and it actually looks dope um so I'm thinking about getting it I probably will still get sun and moon or sun I don't know if I want sun or moon and then I'm probably gonna be try to figure out the difference between pokemon sword and shield probably will go with sword though just because i like swords but um I'm thinking about it actually what's the price on it obviously no time soon but let's see is this all the way up maximum volume now it's all the way up I just want to see what the pricing is for Pokemon games. Because I'm interested in getting two. But that $60 price, ooh, it makes me want to cry. I'm like, I hope they go on sale soon. They don't have any other Pokemon games. I'm pretty sure I could like go in the store and buy them. Uh, but I think I want Pokemon Sword though I wish they had like a demo of it but I know that it's like an open world type of game which is why I want to get it because I didn't enjoy Pokemon I used to love Pokemon when like the Game Boys came out and the Game Boy Advances that was my thing that was my thing and then when I found out that you can do like emulators on like your computer to play Game Boy Advance games I was here I was here for it so um, I'm like do I really want it I probably watch a gameplay so I'm doing a gameplay I don't want shield though I want sword then there's like a let's go Pikachu and a let's go Eevee I don't know but I'm always downloading demos <laughs> Like, why not buy a demo, right? Two thousand two hundred and thirty-seven games for less than ten bucks. Let me look up some game demos. But yeah, this is what I do, you guys. Have I downloaded this demo? Oh, he's an anime character. Oh yeah, I did play this. I think. Yeah, I didn't like it. I'm sorry guys, that was like a whole left field thing, but yeah, that's it for this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next video that'll be a lot better.